Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna show you how I manage my dot files with the new store. It's a very useful utility that allows you to keep all of your dot files in one place and automatically assembling these to the original place. So I'll just show you. So here I have my dot files folder with a all lot of folders and a dot git folder, just ignore that. So let's say I want to edit my kitty configuration. If I cd into the kitty folder, then instead of being presented with the kitty configuration file, instead I have this folder here called .config. This is the actual path to the kitty configuration folder. So if I cd into .config, you'll see that the next directory is kitty. And then only there do I have all of these uh, themes and configuration files. So that's the way how store works. So now if I go to my .files uh, back again, what I can do is I can store and I'll type in dash v for verbose to get some output kitty. And right now it gives me no output because I didn't actually change anything in there or add a file or anything. But if I just cd into here and I create, let's say, hello.ext and then I cd back, I can just run this store command again. And now it will show this link and basically it takes this new file that we created and symlinks it to .config kitty hello.txt which is the correct location. This means I can just edit any configuration file I want. So I actually have a script for this that shows up this nice little prompt with everything. So I can edit let's say my key bindings and if I add in something here like uh, Hello, and this is in this dot .files directory. It is not the official configuration directory of this. But if I now open up the actual file, which is in dot .config hyper conf input dot .conf, edit, you can see that this hello here has also added in here. And that's basically what sim links up. Two files are linked together. So when you make a change in one file, it also applies to the other one. So today I'm going to show you how to install store and how to use it to manage your dot files and all that. So installing store is very simple. If you're on Arch Linux like me, you can just install it like this via sudo pacman s store. And if you're using a, a distro like Fedora or Nobara, you can install it with a DNF. And if you're using Debian based distros or Ubuntu whatever, you can use apt. And once you install store, it's pretty easy to use. So first of all, you'll want to create some sort of folder to keep all of your dot files. I made one called dot files. And then we can head over there. And we can just simply move all of our configuration files into here. And then use store to organize them and simply them and all that. Let's start with our ZSH RC. If I ls, we can see that there's a zsh folder here. Let's cd into that. And here there is no .config zsh whatever. That's because the zsh rc is at the very top of the tree. It is in the home directory. So these two files are supposed to be in the home directory. That's why there is no external folders. And simply edit any of these if I want to. Then once I'm done, I can just cd into my .files folder. Type in store dash t home zsh and I will store all of my files and now I can just edit all of my dot files in here. So this is very really useful if you don't know where all of these configuration files are and you want all of them in one single place, very easy to access. So I hope this video helped you and bye bye.